hoping to join the soldiers in protecting and defending the territorial integrity of Kenya. Selected candidates report to the Kenya Military Academy at Lanette in Nakuru County, where conversion from civilians to military officers and molding by way of military training is undertaken. At the academy, cadets are subjected to further assessments both physically and mentally, eliminating some of the candidates. Thereafter, successful candidates commence training with kitting among other administrative processes and gradually over time strenuous activities are introduced and sustained throughout the training period. Cadet training in the Kenya Defense Forces is not a walk in the park. It entails changes in the physical, mental and emotional status of an individual. It is an intensive process which re-socializes cadets to conform to the demands of military employment and duties. Cadet training is anchored on three pillars which are professional training, academic development and character development. Professional training is meant to equip cadets with necessary soldiering skills to enable them understand the environment in which the military operates while building their capacity to perform tasks effectively as military commanders. Under this pillar, cadets are trained on weapon handling, battle or fieldcraft, physical fitness, map reading, military communication, land, air and maritime operations and field training exercises. The academic development pillar entails training aimed at developing the quality of military leadership by instilling critical thinking in the cadets while apprising them with an excellent background for academic advancement. This training culminates in the award of a Bachelor of Science in Military and Security Studies degree. The academy currently uh, runs um, a three-year GSO cadet uh, intake, uh, one year GSO uh, graduate intake, and a six-month specialist uh, intake. The third pillar, character development, involves breaking cadets from raw civilians to soldiers while cultivating professional pride in response to military command individually or as team players while cultivating the ability to appreciate service discipline, customs, norms, values and traditions. Cadet training entails classwork, field and parade training. To benefit from the training, which is conducted in an environment of strict discipline, the cadets need mental acuity and physical agility. The medical and chaplaincy fraternity are always with the cadets to assist where necessary and encourage where the will has failed. Training in harsh environmental conditions emphasizes on general military skills, individual preparedness, extended field operations and more so conducting small unit tactical operations. The purpose of cadet training is to develop character, leadership skills and instill a sense of duty and responsibility in the cadet. Cadet training prepares officers for leadership and command by providing foundational officer training, education and inspiration to attain professional military excellence in the Kenya Defense Forces. KMA has been created for a particular reason, to provide a unique and of course excellent positioning for the KDF in terms of foundational military training. Before proceeding to the commissioning parade, cadets must certify the commissioning board where further selection of the cadets is carried out to ensure our motherland gets the best of the best serving in the Kenya Defense Forces. The commissioning board is a statutory requirement that uh, evaluates their level of assimilation of uh, training and their suitability to serve in the Kenya Defense Forces. It recommends to the Defense Council uh, suitable cadets for the grant of commission, which is what makes them KDF officers. We have a critical mass of junior leaders that are just about to be released to the mainstream services to provide the much needed services. I'm a medical doctor by profession, but ever since joining the profession of the arms, I am a soldier first.